Welcome back, you too. It is a great day to be different. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you guys how to be different. Yes, sir. We got a tape of for you. It is simple, but it is not easy. First things first, we're going to brush, comb, lay everything down. We are searching for any type of inconsistencies or anything that is going to prevent us from giving this young man a nice haircut. <laughs> yes, sir. So we're gonna go ahead and start debulking. Me, I usually start around the crown area because it's gonna tell us everything we need to know about which direction that the hair grows, the growth pattern. So we're just gonna follow that. We're going with the grain and we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna debulk everything. This is one of those type of haircuts where I have to debulk all the way through the entire head. There's no way around it. We cannot save time on the debulking because we aren't fading into a lot of this bulk. So we have to debulk, give it that nice, even, smooth look. And the only way to do that is by making sure you cover everything. It's very important to debulk all the way through the edge up, as you can see right here. We need the front end to lay down. Follow all the way through the edge up. Very important for the edge up process. Very, very important. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna throw some hairspray on it, get it to freeze. That way, whenever we come back to line up, it should melt right on off. So we're gonna move on to the first step of the fade process. We're gonna ball it out. We're gonna start at the bottom of the vertical bar and we're gonna walk it down. Next step, no guard all the way open. We're gonna go up about an inch. Yes, sir, using your brush, keep the hair laying down. Also cleans off any debris, very important. Next step, one guard, second notch. We're gonna go up about another inch. Using your brush to keep the hair to lay down because the hair does move when you hit it. So you need to make sure that you lay the hair down, keep the hair laid. We're gonna keep that one guard on and we're gonna go all the way open. Now we are entering into the detail process. We're using nothing but your corners, attacking nothing but the dark spots. Hit, brush, hit, brush, hit, brush. Very, very important. As you can see, tilting over exaggerating the clipper and we are only attacking the darker spots. We are blending into that bulk, making it look a lot more even and blending. We're gonna use this claw method, especially right there behind the ear. Helps lay the hair down. As you can see, it's not gonna make it any less dark, but it does lay the hair down a lot better. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why, it just works. We're gonna keep that half guard on. We're gonna start off closed. We're gonna attack that line that the no guard all the way open left. Start off closed, work your way up midway, and then eventually all the way open. Continuing to tilt the clipper using your feather techniques. Attacking nothing but the dark spots. Then we're gonna take that half guard off. Attack that ball line all the way closed. Work your way up midway. And then again, eventually all the way open. As you can see, using nothing but the corners, tilting the clipper, over exaggerating the clipper, using your left and right corners, attacking nothing but the dark spots. Hit, brush, hit, brush, hit, brush. Very, very important. Very important. As you can see, that fade's coming together. Yes, sir. Fade's coming together real, real nicely. Easy day. Easy day. 
Here goes the other side and the back. It's the exact same steps. I'm gonna let you guys have it. And we will be back for the edge up process. Welcome back to the edge of process. We're gonna start right in the middle and we're gonna walk it to the left side. Does not matter which side you walk it to first. I'm normally standing on the left based off of the way that my station is set up. So it does not matter. And then we're gonna start back in the middle and we are gonna start walking it to the right to get it to match the left. We're gonna punch in that vertical bar, clean off any debris, make sure that corner is in there. Then we're gonna hit it with some pencil for some contour. Yes, sir. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna punch in that vertical bar. Make sure that corner is in there. And we're gonna slap some pencil on it for some contour. Now we are moving into the enhancement stage. We're gonna start off with the wet base first. Tapping the trigger, always sweeping. This prevents you from over applying, over caking, and prevents the wet enhancement from running. We're gonna follow right up behind the wet enhancements with the dry fibers. Now the dry fiber is gonna allow me to get rid of that wet, shiny look from the wet enhancements. It's gonna feel a lot more cleaner, a lot more nicer, give it a much more natural look. Very important for photos and videos, as you can see right here. So wet foundation first. This is gonna give the dry fiber something to stick to. That way we don't have to continue to hit it with hairspray. Follow up with the dry fibers. 
to feel in a lot better. We're gonna hit them with some hot sauce to push that pencil over, give it that razor blade effect, that razor blade look, without having to use a razor blade. Very important for those barbers that are not comfortable with the razor blade yet, but still want to give your client that razor blade look. Same thing on the other side. Wet foundation first. It is important that the wet enhancements are wet when you apply the dry fibers. That way it will stick. Yes, sir. Get rid of that wet, shiny look. Hit them with the hot sauce, push that pencil over, clean up any overspray of the wet or dry enhancements. Boom. Beautiful. Ugh. When that pencil pushes like you need it to, sheesh, you can't beat it. Yes, sir. Gonna mop up anything we don't like with a Q-tip. Clean them off. We're gonna hand them in the mirror. Yes, sir. My boy gave it back. He don't even want it. He said, get this out of my face, man. But you guys remember what he came in looking like? Yes, sir. You guys remember. What he come to do? He came to be different. Jeez. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's clean. And that's different. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Do whatever you guys got to do to keep me on your timeline, man. It's crispy. And that is crispy. We out of here. Peace.